The first thing that we do is sew the turtleneck component together. And I like to use my conventional machine to do that because it reduces bulk. You can press that seam allowance open rather than having to press it to one side if you use the serger. If your knits stretch, you can reduce the pressure on your presser foot if your machine allows you to do it, and that will help keep your knits from stretching. So you can see we have the beginning of the turtleneck, and I'm going to press this seam allowance open. I use a ham for a lot of my pressing because it allows the rest of the fabric to fall away so it doesn't get in your way as you're pressing something. And then your seam allowance here gets folded together. I often will pop this on over my head if this is for me to make sure it's the right tightness. If it's too big you can just go back in and sew it a little bit more snugly. But to apply your turtleneck, the first thing that you want to do is to quarter both the turtleneck and the body of the garment. To quarter it, you fold the center back seam, or the seam which I put at the center back, and fold your turtleneck smoothly in half. And at the other side, across from the fold, or the seam, you can put a pin in, and now the turtleneck is halved, then it's easy to bring the seam to the center front. The seam is center back, so you bring it to the center front. And then put a pin in each of the folds that you've created, which will then allow you to have quarters. Next quarter, the body of the shirt. Start by putting your shoulder seams together. Here's one shoulder seam, here's the other. Just put them together. And I like to lay my turtle, my, the body of the garment out flat, so I make sure I get the center back here. I'll put a pin in. And the same thing on the front. Make sure my two cut edges line up and fold smoothly without stretching it. And here is center front. Now, the next thing that we will do to quarter it is to pull the garment around so we have center front meeting center back and then line up your two cut edges and at these folds put a pin in and the thing that's really important to note is that your shoulder seam is not the quarter it's the shoulder seam is almost always pretty far back towards center back so now we have a quartered body and we have a quartered turtleneck I like to put my turtleneck on the inside of the garment so that I can be sewing with the turtleneck up and I'll match my center back pin on the garment to the center back of the turtleneck and put the pin in to hold it and take out your other pin so it's not in your way and do the same thing on your side. And you'll see that the body of the garment is significantly larger than the turtleneck. And that's okay, that's what you want. It makes sense because the turtleneck has to be tighter against your body. Since serging is pretty final, what I like to do is apply the turtleneck initially with my conventional machine. And I just use a long basting stitch. I make sure my two edges of the turtleneck are lined up and that the body of the garment lays nice and flat. And what you want to do is stretch the turtleneck but not the body of the garment. And don't try to do too much. You, it'll help if you reposition everything frequently. And again, stretching the turtleneck and not the body of the garment. It's okay if the body of the garment stretches a small amount, but the, the main part of the stretch you want is in the turtleneck. And this allows you to just check that you don't have any bubbles in your work, that you haven't caught anything you don't want, and you can double check on the right side of your garment that everything is looking nice and smooth. If you're unsure about things, pop it on over your head and make sure the fit is um, nice 
because it's easy to take out and change. Once you're satisfied with the fit of it, we'll go to the serger. Again, I like to start my serge at the center back. Again, I don't try to sew too much at once, but reposition my work. And this, um, you want to pull very, very slightly. You don't want it to be scrunched up, and you don't want to pull the heck out of it, but you want to give it just a little bit of a pull. And when I come back to the end, I like to surge beyond this and then I'll surge off the work about here. And you'll see I like to leave a nice long tail. Um, to finish this off, you can cut here and put a piece, a dot of fray check to keep those serger threads to come loose. Or you can thread this on a needle and bury it back in here. Thread those two in and pull it on, the needle on. And then you can just put your needle through some of the seam allowance and pull and then clip that edge and that means you just don't have to have a check a spot of fray check or glue there and that completes your turtleneck so there's no doubt in your mind before you sit down to search that everything is just how you want it and if you like a mock turtleneck, you just make it shorter with no fold over, and it's the same thing.